these days, less people wear suits to work. And if you work from home, you're probably working in your PJs. But then one day you have a job interview or a special date, or maybe you need to attend a wedding or funeral. And then it dawns on you, how do you tie a necktie? There are many ways to tie a tie, but let's focus on the most popular and simplest way so that you can get out the door in a jiffy. This method is called a four in hand knot. First, lift up your shirt collar. Drape the necktie around your shirt collar with the wide end of the tie on your right and the narrow end on your left. The tip of the narrow end should rest slightly above your belly button. The wide end should hang slightly lower than the narrow end. The rest of the steps, you'll be moving only the wide end while the narrow end stays stationary until the last step. Okay, cross the wide end over and under the narrow one. Cross the wide end over the front one more time. Then hook the wide end underneath and through the open neck loop. Lastly, slip the wide end down into the front knot. Now tighten the tie by holding the knot with one hand and pulling down the narrow end with your other hand. Make sure it's not too loose, but don't choke yourself either. And there you go, now you tie the tie. The four in hand knot is one of the most popular knots because it's so easy and versatile. I mean, I just learned it right now, so you can too. And if you only have time to learn one knot, this is the one. This knot has been around since 1850s. The term four in hand originally described a carriage with four horses and a driver. The story goes that carriage drivers tied their scarves with the four in hand knot. Eventually, the style became popular and remains so even today. Your grandfather and great grandfather probably tied their ties using this method too. Maybe even your first, second, and third cousins. If you haven't seen my video on Cousin Calculator, check it out. Here's some fun facts about neckties. Believe it or not, there are over 170,000 different ways to tie a tie. I bet there's a Guinness World Record for something like that. Also, it takes 100 silk worms to make one quality silk tie. Those poor little worms need to work hard because they have to make 245,000 feet of silk thread just to make one tie for you. Don't let their life go to waste. A person who collects ties is known as a grabatologist. Why didn't they just call it a grab a tie a gist? Anyway, did you know you can purchase a bulletproof tie? In that case, don't go for the skinny tie. Lastly, 15,000 men in the US learn how to tie tie every day. So you're not alone. There's 14,999 others with you today. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends and family. Thank you. Bye.